guys, my name is Ade Kombi Ade Ronke, aka Auntie Rob Rob, your most impressive storyteller. I love to speak, I love to write, amongst many other things. Welcome to your favorite show, Tuesday Teaser, where I'll be continuing our series titled A to Z of the Things I Would Do If I Could Turn Back the Hands of Time. In case you are joining for the first time, I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel, Auntie Roro, where I film about storytelling, lifestyle, and humor from Lagos, Nigeria. Kindly follow me on my Instagram page and at Adironke Adex, and do subscribe to my YouTube channel, Auntie Roro. Watch the video, like it, drop a comment or two, share within your network. I would appreciate all of these things. Today on the series, we are already on letter K. K for Ken. Yes, yeah, so Ken might sound like an English word, but Ken is actually an, it might sound like an English name, sorry, but it's actually an English word and it means one's range of knowledge or understanding. How you would apply the word is for you to say something like, further mathematics is beyond my Ken. Meaning that you do not have a lot of knowledge of further mathematics. Won't you say thank you to Auntie Ruru for teaching you a new, for increasing your vocabulary. Now to the show proper. If I could turn back the hands of time, I would invest more in knowledge. You see, there's something I believe very much in. And that is the deceitfulness of results and the shorty of processes. Many times, our current results are as a result of past efforts, and our future results will be consequence of our current efforts in the same vein. For example, our country Nigeria didn't get to the level they are at overnight. It was as a result of mismanagement that had happened over the years that wasn't corrected. In church on Sunday, I taught my children on diligence and how it pays in the process of time. The same way diligence pays in the process of time, knowledge pays in the process of time. Mismanagement also has its own due, which happens in the process of time. As leaders in organization, when we are trying to do appraisal of our performance, sometimes we look at our current results. But I think that this process or this procedure might be a bit faulty we also need to check the things that we are doing that are pro that are producing or that are generating those results in project management this is what we call quality assurance so if i could turn back the hands of time i would take time to determine the few things that i've considered important then proceed to rank them in order of importance then I will increase my knowledge in those areas. I picked up on this very late and I've started doing it, but evidently I need to pick up my pace. So going forward, I will invest more in areas where I think I might have natural ability in or places where I think I really enjoy, in things I really enjoy doing. So by the way, I want to thank all of my amazing subscribers. You guys are the best. Thank you for your consistency in watching, in liking, in commenting, in sharing with your network. I really do appreciate every single thing you do. And to those who are still surfing, I want to encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on my Instagram page. Thank you very much. And then I also want to say that for the protesters, be cool, please be careful because it's obvious that there might be some miscreants who are hiding under the protest and you know, beginning to, they are now beginning to make citizens even pay for the things that we are fighting for. I mean, Sabbath was made for man. Man was not made for Sabbath. So if the very thing you are doing has now become, that has, has now turned to be a problem, it might, it might be, that might be the change you might need to start from. I don't know. I just pray that we get the results that we want to get while still focusing on why the protest started to begin with we need to change the system the system obviously needs a better a, you know, a thorough and more in-depth change i don't know if i'm able to communicate that well anyway i want you to enjoy yourself 
I do take absolute care of yourself. I love you.